This is the video for the second drawing block. Once Inventor is open, you always want to start by selecting Part. Once this screen is fully loaded, now you're ready to click Start Sketch, and we're always going to start in the XY plane. To begin this drawing, we're going to start by using the Line tool. We're going to select our origin, and we're going to start with our height. You always type in your number first, and then press Enter, making sure that your angle is correct. Then off of this part, I make sure that my angle is correct, type in my measurement, and go from there. So now the next line that I'm starting with is an angle. So the first thing I have to do is type in my measurement and then I press tab instead of enter and it jumps over to the degree and I type in my angle. Then you just continue moving on. So I type in my measurement and if you notice once I type this in it goes the opposite direction. So if this happens you just press escape, you select the object press delete, select line again, and just continue moving on, making sure that your angles are correct and your measurements are correct. So you want to constantly check yourself and double check, and triple check, whatever you got to do to make sure that it's correct. Here is another example of establishing your angle. So I type in my measurement, I press tab, and I type in my angle. Now to finish my sketch, I just bring the point right back to the starting origin and I'm done. Now when comparing this object to our block, you notice that it's not a perfect 90 degree angle. That bottom line is sitting below that X axis. So now I have to go in and I have to modify this. So since I really don't like the way it looks, I have to delete these two lines. And I'm going to start over at the origin with a line draw it back to the right four inches I type in my measurement and then I'm just gonna connect a line back up to this point point. and now now it is the right way I select finish sketch and boom that sides done now we're ready to make this object 3d so we go up to extrude we select it we make sure that our extrude distance is correct, it's going the right direction, and we click OK, and there you have it. So as always, I want to save my work. I make sure I'm saving it to the right location. You see it automatically pops up for me, but I want you to make sure that you're saving to your H drive, and then you name it correctly. That is extremely important. Now to start our drawing, we click My Home, we select New Drawing, paper pops up. We go up to base. We want to load the file that we just saved. We click OK. You maneuver it on the paper where you want it. We select projected. Select your object. Project it to the top and right. You have your isometric view. Right click and click create. Now I want you to go through, add all necessary annotations, dimensions, things like that. This is going to be the file that you submit. When we add our dimensions, I really like to add the parenthesis at the end for inches. I right click on my dimension. You got to click make sure that it's the right screen. I have it unselected. Do it a couple times and click edit dimension style. Now we change from decimal to fractional and change your precision to 1 64th just so that it has the proper um, fractions that we use. Click done, save, yes, and then now go through and add all necessary dimensions with the proper formatting. Once you have all your dimensions, we're going to save this file as the inclined stepped dimension right so you make sure you save it to the right location right and I'm just gonna add the word dimensioned to the back this is gonna be the file that you submit 